everyone. Welcome to our E2068 final project. Uh, we did a towel folding baxter. And then here's our team. I'm Ryan. I'm Eeks. I'm Prangan. I'm Eeks. I'm Turin. I'm Eeks. I'm Vidish. I'm Eeks. I'm Alexis. I'm mechanical engineering. So the project that we came up with was towel folding with Baxter. And the reason we did this is because we know that there are folks out there that require significant living assistance, such as the elderly, the physically disabled, those with arthritis, or those in physical therapy. A robot could do as simple a chore as folding clothes, and it could be a life changer for them and greatly improve their quality of life. This is why we have a goal for Baxter to detect a variety of clothing types and to be able to fold it. So the inspiration for our project was twofold. Um, one was a project that was led by a UC Berkeley PhD student named uh, Jeremy Maiton Shepard, um, along with Professor uh, Abiel. And then we also have uh, also drew inspiration from an IEEE project about folding clothes autonomously. And you can see in both of these, um, they use different robots uh, to, to fold clothes and they, they use uh, two, two arms in order to do a variety of different motions, as well as kind of detect the robot before um, conducting the full fold. So um, for our project, we set up as follows. Um, initially, we set an AR tag on the visible part of the table in view of our camera. Uh, then we placed a towel on the table, and then we put dots on the corner of the towels um, and uh, along the uh, outside of the AR tag. Uh, from there, we were able to measure the distances between the red dots in order to uh, map the coordinates of the towel and so that the Baxter robot could, could register it. Um, moving on to how we actually detected the points um, and converted those points into real world coordinates. Um, so we ended up using a convolutional neural network in order to detect the edges of the article of clothing as well as the AR tag. We used the known dimension of the AR tag to calculate the homography and rectify the image. And then from there, we used the offset from the AR tag corners to the article of clothing corners and uh, used the AR tag location um, to lo localize the corners of the article of clothing. Next, Tarun will go um, a bit deeper into our process. Yeah, for the actual implementation of this folding, we first moved the Baxter's left hand to a calibration position so that it could take a picture using its left-hand camera. Then, as we talked about, it detected the location of the AR tag, uh, the coordinates of the AR tag with respect to the gripper frame. And with our pre-trained neural network, it identified the corners um, and detected the dots surrounding the towels. It transformed these locations of the towel, uh, towel corners into the frame of the left gripper. This allowed us to compute inverse kinematics so that we could position the gripper appropriately in order to conduct a folding motion. The gripper moved, first moved to the bottom left corner, picked it up, and moved it to the top right corner. It also did this with the top left corner and the bottom right corner. As a result, we ended up with the folded towel. Some of the nodes that we had to use for this included the actual camera image, a tracker for the AR, um, in, in the inverse kinematics solver, the actual movement server that sent commands to this solver and the Baxter itself, and a main method that sort of tied all of this together. Through this process, the points were calculated through TF2's transform function. This allowed us to change frames between the, that of the AR tag and the gripper and compute our inverse kinematics. Uh, the real world frame was the AR tag itself, and towel coordinates were basically offsets from the location of the AR tag. And movements were computed after with, with the inverse kinetic solver and executed via um, PIDs with, with the movement solver built into the Baxter. 
All right, and here are some videos of our robot in action. And that's the end. Thank you.